This is about famous athletes. While we were in Boston, we fulfilled the fantasy of a New Jersey man who fantasized about a scoreboard. The Green Monster, the most famous wall in baseball. Beautiful from a distance, but up close, pockmarked from the thousands of baseballs that have come careening off of it over the years. It's one of only two manual scoreboards in baseball. The other one's at Wrigley. Mark Hanslin is from New Jersey, a lifelong Red Sox fan. He works for a bank, so he enjoys working indoors. And now he enters a piece of history. Oh. It was from this spot that NBC cameraman Lou Girard shot that famous replay of Carlton Fisk's World Series Carlton home run Fist. in 1975. <laughs> How many steps does he take? One. He waits to see it. Get over. <laughs> Get over. He knew it. There it is. People have to realize the tradition that goes along with Fenway Park, and this is... Fenway Park in itself right here, the scoreboard buzzing uh, during the game with the out-of-town scores and even the in-house in scores. John Cowley with the national anthem here. And aside from tradition, it's a wonderful seat. He's away now. Changed up and punched him out of there. I'm having a great time. This is wild. I've never seen the game from this perspective. I'm looking from behind Jim Rice here. But it's not all fun and games. Kid I did the scoreboard with earlier this year. He put a, a number upside down for a Red Sox run, and it was a five. And uh, the bosses were pretty upset, and uh, he didn't last too long. Uh, <laughs> and then the big moment for Mark. Having to pitch with a man in scoring position. His Red Sox scored their first run. It's a fair ball. It'll be tied up. And Gibbons going to wind up with the double as Downing digs it out. And Mark posted the number. And one more thing. There's no graffiti on the wall. It's inside the wall. There's Lou Gerard, that NBC cameraman. Ted Williams' home run count in 1951. The guys who worked the 1961 All-Star Game. And now viewer Mark Hanslin from New Jersey.